Well, clinical trials for the H1N1 vaccine begin this week at hospitals from coast to coast. The tests are being fast-tracked to get the doses out by the public to the public by mid-October, which is basically when flu season starts to gear up. About 2,500 paid volunteers are expected to participate, but a lot of parents are starting to ask questions now. They're worrying about what is in the vaccine, specifically whether or not it's going to contain a mercury-based additive. It's called thimerosal. There's a lot of confusion about the H1N1 virus and vaccine and thimerosal and what's in it and what's not. So we want to help separate fact from fiction. Joining me now is managing editor of FoxNewsHealth.com, Dr. Manny Alvarez. Good right. to see How you, are sir. You? Good. So let's start talking about this thimerosal. First of all, what is it and is it in this vaccine? Uh, well, the, it, it's a preservative and for years it has been used for vaccinations. But it is a preservative that has been linked, of course, with to perhaps autism, autism uh, even though it has not been proven. A lot of studies really by the federal government have not shown a direct uh, causation for autism, but a lot of parents worry, and rightfully so. Now, most of thimerosal has been eliminated from vaccines, but the flu vaccine does have thimerosal. So most of the badges of the swine flu vaccine that you're going to get this year, and also the regular flu, may contain traces of thimerosal. May Although, contain, may yep, contain. So not all of it. Not these? all of it. You're so going how do we have, figure it out? Well, you've got to ask. You know, I think that you know, if you go to a private physician or a private cl clinic, they'll probably be able to get for you, uh, you know, this type of uh, thimerosal-free vaccination. But if you're getting your flu vaccine from, let's say, federally funded clinics, I think most of those, uh, most of those vaccines are going to have uh, thimerosal. All right, maybe a dumb question, but why would they just not give the adults the stuff that has the the, uh, the, the vaccine that has thimerosal in it, and the kids? Well, the stuff because that does? Uh, they probably it, the manufacturing process is a little bit more expensive. Uh, you know, the reason for thimerosal is that it's a preservative, so that it can, the vial can be used for multiple patients, so that from a cost effectiveness, you know, the government really has a position that thimerosal is not bad for you. Right. And again, in, in mass marketing, they will probably use vaccines that do have it. But you know, if you're pregnant, for instance, you got to be very careful with having uh, thimerosal vaccination. So basically, talk to your doctor before you. You got to talk to your doctor and ask for these thimerosal-free vaccines. All right. Another question. I always yeah. get the flu shot every year. So does this mean that I should not get the swine flu, the H1N1 shot? Sure, you got to get it. You got to yeah, get it. Both. Yeah. And the question is for a lot of folks: If I have the flu, should I still get the flu shot? Right. Uh, well, yes. The answer is yes because not necessarily the same flu that you had was the same strain that is being covered by the vaccination. So you got to co cover both angles. Okay, so you so got to get the you got to get the shot. If you had the flu, you should still get the flu shot, and yeah. you should get the H1N1 shot, Absolutely. no matter what. No matter what. Load Especially up on this the shots. Year. You got to. Okay. One more question. Okay. Got a lot of folks saying, okay, the swine flu, swine pork, should oh, we avoid on. pork? A big myth, a what? big myth. Come on. A lot of people are concerned you about this. You can have your pork shelf on anything you want. It's perfectly fine. It's good for you. Uh, no, absolutely not. It has no correlation whatsoever. You should not worry about any animals per se, any poultry, anything like that. Then why are they calling like it that? the swine flu? Because uh, there's a derivation of animal swine of uh, influenza into this human format, but it has really nothing to do with the animal per se. So we're giving pigs a bad name. Absolutely, and it's a great meat. Long, you know, <laughs> you know, it's, the, it's, it's the, very it's, fattening, it's, doctor. It's, it's, it's the, the other white meat. Absolutely, <laughs> it's the All other right. white meat. Doctor Manny, thank you very much, and be sure it. to go to foxnews.com for any information you need on this virus. Just type H1N1 into the search box, and then you click on the H1N1 page, and all sorts of news, all the very latest news that affects you and your family, foxnews.com.